Number 55, Integrated Concepts. A water break in the entrance of a harbor consists of a rock barrier with a 50 meter wide opening. Ocean waves of 20 meter wavelength approach the opening straight on. At what angle to the incident direction are the boats inside the harbor most protected against wave action? So basically, uh, here's you got an ocean, you got a little opening here, and then you got a harbor on this side. All right. So let's say here is the dock, and uh, you know the boats are going to be. I don't, do, you, do you say boats are parked? I don't know. But let's say they're parked here. I wouldn't know. I don't own a boat. But anyway, <clears throat> um, you know, the only thing better than owning a boat is knowing a friend who owns a boat. So uh, what we need to do here is uh, I want to figure out. Now, I know this is a single slit width problem, right? Because that's what they're basically saying. And they told me the distance between these two is going to be 50 meters. Okay. Now, I know that if I kind of draw like a little horizontal here, okay, and I draw an angle, what I want to do here is let's say I want to find the angle uh, in which gives me a minimum of wave action here, minimum. Why a minimum? Well, because it says it wants the boats to be most protected against wave action. So what does that mean? You want a lot of waves here or a little wave? You want little waves, right? No waves would be perfect. So that's what I want to find. I want to find the minimum. Okay, so now I might say, well, wait a minute, is this the only position? Well, no, there could be many, right? There could be maybe another position over here that also might produce a minimum if the boat is a do oh, docked. What am I talking Parked, right? Like I'm driving a car. It's docked. There you go. I even said the word before. It's docked. Ugh. My friend would be pissed. Um, so here, uh, you know, that's now the new angle. We'll call that like theta one, and maybe this is theta then that whole angle two all right and uh what we got to do is we'll figure out a whole bunch of thetas all right we'll see where the safest place to park darn it to dock your boat is uh so how do we do this well we're dealing with a single slip problem so therefore we're dealing with the uh and we're dealing with minimum so that's this formula over here on the right hand side sometimes they change the lowercase d to capital d but who cares um it's going to be the same thing just keep in mind that this d represents the width between the single slip and this is going to be sine of theta is going to be equal to m lambda. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to find the angles, right? So we're going to divide out the slit width, okay, or the opening there. And then to find just theta, what do we got to do, ladies and gentlemen? We have to take the inverse sine of both sides, right? So basically inverse sine of this, inverse sine of the left, would get rid of the sine, and there is now your formula. So what I'm going to do is there, like I said, there might be several angles here that might be safe to dock your boat. So what happens at the first minimum, all right? Where is that located? Well, what's the wavelength of the ocean waves? Oh, 20 meters, great. Uh, what's the uh, width of the opening? Oh, 50, great. Oh, look at that, I can calculate it. So take out the calculator, inverse sine of 20 divided by 50. And what do you get? So 23.57, right? Eight, so about 23, I guess, 0. 0.6 degrees. That would be one safe uh, location. Okay, that'd be one safe location. So this theta one is basically <clears throat> 23.6 degrees. So you're good if you park, if you, if you dock your boat, 26.3, uh, 23.6 degrees relative to this horizontal. But is there another one? Well, let's check it out. So instead of M being one, we're gonna say, is there a second one? Or is there a second spot? So let's see, theta two, we'll call it. All right, this was theta one. So let's see theta two now, take out the calculator, inverse sine of two times 20 divided by 50. So this is 53.1 now, 53.1 degrees. So that's also another safe location to park your boat in which there will be a minimum. So this angle in here, theta two was 53.1. So you can also park your boat, darn it, dock your boat there. Now, <clears throat> what happens, is there a third? Well, let's calculate it. Inverse sine of 3 times 20 divided by 50. Up oh, error. Oh, boy. Error. There is no third minimum. Okay? This becomes too large. It's larger than 1. So you basically have... So what that tells us is you basically have two safe places to park your boat. Here, at an angle of 23.6 degrees relative to the horizontal. All right? And also here, which would be 53.1 degrees relative to this horizontal. Okay? Okay? So if you ever own a boat and you have a setup like this, I want you to take out your calculator and calculate the safest place to dock your boat.
Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I really do hope this helped. If it did, can you give us a hand? Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out uh, tremendously. allows us to produce a lot more content for you guys also. Um, uh, also, if you're taking some other subjects, you know, chemistry, uh, I was going to say physics, but you're taking physics if you're watching this video. Um, Pre-calculus, and we've got a whole bunch of other subjects coming out. Solve specific solutions. Take a look at the OpenStax books. Even if you're not using it, download it for free online. All right? They're good books. And the questions don't really change regardless of what textbook you're using or what problem you might have. So you can find a very similar, if not identical, problem in those books, and we'll have a solved solution. And I basically guarantee if you watch that video, you'll be able to figure out your own specific problem. All right? Uh, so... Yeah. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.